Hello my friends and channel subscribers, Greg here from Brisbane, Australia with another uncut, unedited, no bull video. Today I would like to review pressure cooker which has come from Philips. I think it's a base version of the Philips pressure cooker. I put my review on productreview.com.au and people asking for video review and so on. So I decided to provide reasons why did I purchase this pressure cooker, what I'm doing with it and why I bought this one and not any other brand names. So let's think about uh, pressure cooker. What would you do in pressure cooker? Literally everything. That's a time saving, that's the you know, energy saving device that requires very minimal attention. Uh, this particular pressure cooker is very, very basic. And by the way, um, I got this pressure cooker from um, Amazon and what I will do, I'll put the link down below uh, for this pressure cooker and other pressure cookers uh, uh, down below so it will be easy for you to choose which one you want if you decide to buy one. So what I don't do in this pressure cooker, I don't do, um, people usually make rice and other things, I don't do that because I believe my microwave does a way better job and more control but what I do do with this pressure cooker I cook a lot of different meat meat that otherwise would be either burnt on a barbecue when I say burnt you know if you're health conscious you would know uh, about uh, advanced glycation products and what barbecue does to, to uh, meats when you um, burn them so when you pressure cook them it's one of the healthiest ways to create delicious meals and the beauty of this particular pressure cooker that comes with its own book. Uh, there's a big recipe book that comes with a, a, a pressure cooker and there's a lot of different recipes on the internet. But what I will do today um, is not in that uh, um, book. Um, as you can hear, I've got accent, I'm Ukrainian and one of the most traditional Ukrainian dishes is beef tongue that currently I'm defrosting. I've got two of them here. And normally it takes a long time to boil them, to make them right and everything. And I will show you soon how easy it is to cook uh, on, in pressure cooker. By the way, um, as you probably noticed, I'm running also health channel and um, a, the reason why I'm cooking tongue is not accidental. I do um, partially um, adhere to carnivore diet and a little bit to keto diet. I believe there's no one particular lifestyle is better than another, but is in combinations very powerful. And the whole idea of carnivore lifestyle to eat uh, all meats in moderation, and we're not talking about specific meats, we're talking about uh, muscle and not muscle meat. So I try to cook and pressure cook uh, tongues, kidneys, heart, liver, everything that I can find in local store uh, from all healthy, um, ethical, uh, animal raising uh, uh, um, processes like uh, uh, grass fed, grass finished and things like that. So today it's a beef or ox tongue and I bought it from a uh, local uh, butcher store and uh, two medium sized tongue will fit here. Uh, I'll show you preparation time, I'll show you how it's done and honestly when they defrost it we just put them in, uh, set the temperature, actually we're not setting the temperature, we're setting time how long it will take to uh, cook when it's pressurized. Um, for two times it takes uh, approximately 50 to 55 minutes to cook and then it's all done. Why pressure cook it so easy? First of all it's literally foolproof, you cannot go wrong with it. When you turn it on, and I'll show you later on, all menus light up. You choose what dish you make, how much time you would like to um, uh, get it running for, and when it's finished, even if you're not at home, it switches itself into uh, warming up mode. That means it will create an environment where it just uh, maintains the um, warm temperature inside. Uh, pressure cooker itself uh, consists of a lid that you twist and, 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 and uh, lift up. Uh, there's a pressure valve on top which is uh, uh, easy to disassemble as well and, um, and clean. 
Um, there's a membrane here that is easy to clean itself. Um, it's, everything is um, my, uh, dishwasher safe. Uh, it's easy to clean even with a sponge. And inside you've got, you've got a lot of questions about bow inside. So it's um, ceramic coated bow, so it's not Teflon. Allegedly it's a little bit more healthier and uh, after a month of extensive usage I don't see any scratch marks. It gives me confidence that's a quality material. I think first generation of uh, uh, Philips had trouble with uh, 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 bow and many people complained. No comments about this one because it's actually quite good. So that bowl is um, where you cook everything and it's dishwasher safe. Um, that's a cover and you won't be able to twist and open it. There's a safety mechanism so it's really foolproof. There's no need to uh, be afraid from pressure cooking. And cooking itself is safe. Um, the only downside of this pressure cooker that I don't like, um, some may require a little bit longer uh, time in, in a pressurized environment, such as, for example, a lamb leg uh, requires one hour and 30 minutes, and um, that pressure cooker only gives the opportunity to pressurize for 59 minutes. So if you need to do it one hour and 30 minutes, you do need to come back and reset it for another 30 minutes after it's done. That's the only negative side i found so far. I believe uh, and uh, other pressure cookers like Crock-Pot and others uh, allow you to go a little bit further. Um, I cannot comment on them, I don't have any experience, but I believe your choice of pressure cooker won't let you down if you choose from one of their reputable brands. I'm actually happy with the Philips and I adjust it quite well. So this is the first part of the video. The second part I will do when tongue is uh, defrosted. I'll put it in, a couple of bay leaves, a little bit of salt, a little bit of uh, um, uh, pepper, uh, black pepper uh, as a, a seeds and uh, that's all. After 55 minutes there will be broth or soup done as well as tongues and they uh, are ready for consumption. I'll see you in the second part of the video. Uh, thank you for watching.